Hello boys and girls, my name is Dr. Keisha and I am dressed as a bunny today. And I'm LJ Brown and I'm a cheetah. And we are going to be reading Mr. Brown Can Move. Can, Can you? you? By Dr. Seuss. You ready? Oh, the wonderful sounds Mr. Brown can do. He can sound like a cow. He can go moo, moo. He can sound like a bee. Mr. Brown can buzz. buzz. How about you? Can you go buzz, buzz? buzz. He can sound like a cork. Pop, 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 pop. He can sound like horse feet. Clop, clop, clop. 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 He can sound like a rooster. Cock, cock, a doodle doo. He can sound like an owl. Hoo, 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 hoo. Mr. Brown can do it. How about you? He can sound like the rain. Dibble, 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 dop. Dibble, 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 dop, 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 dop. Hello boys and girls, my name is Dr. Keisha and I am dressed as a bunny today. And I'm LJ Brown and I'm a cheetah. And we are going to be reading Mr. Brown Can Move. Can, Can you? you? By Dr. Seuss. You ready? Oh, the wonderful sounds Mr. Brown can do. He can sound like a cow. He can go moo, moo. moo. He can sound like a bee. Mr. Brown can buzz. buzz. How about you? Can you go buzz, buzz? buzz. He can sound like a cork. Pop, 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 pop. He can sound like horse feet. Clop, clop, clop. 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 He can sound like a rooster. Cock, cock, a doodle doo. He can sound like an owl. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh. Mr. Brown can do it. How about you? He can sound like the rain. Dibble, 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 dop. Dibble, 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 dop, dop, dop. Good morning. Welcome to Mountaineers Live. We are so delighted to see you all today. Did you all enjoy the first part of Mr. Brown Can Move? Can you? Are you all dressed like an animal today? I am a leopard and I have some other animals with me today. Ask your parents to post you dressed like an animal on our social media pages at MCM underscore Chesapeake. Ask them to post it by 12 p.m. You never know. You may win something tomorrow. So I'm going to be on the lookout to see if your parents posted your picture of you dressed like an animal. All right. See the flyer for how to participate. All right. Hi, Landon. Hi, Jackson. Hey, Sam. Hey, Bailey. Hey, Kayla. Make sure you like. Make sure you share. Make sure you invite somebody to watch. You know 2022 is the year of production. So let's get up so we can say our affirmation right quick. If you don't know a word, remember to stretch it out. All right, let's go. We declare that this is the year of production according to John 2022. The gifts God placed in me will develop. I am committed to acknowledging my position as a child of God. Negativity does not live here. I will follow the way of Christ in word, thought, and action. I believe the affirming promises of God. I will accelerate with excellence in every area of my life because I am a world changer. I will obey the word of God and walk into every assigned promotion this year. Thank you, God, for the world-changing production you are doing in me, my family, and my church leadership. Remember, say it every single solitary day before you go to school, all right, so that you can be open for God to develop those gifts that he has in you. Well, we're in Money Madness quarter three. Also, tithing shots is the title of what we're going to call today, all right? I'm talking about basketball shots. That's all I'm going to say about that, all right? So last week, we learned that we have to count the cost. And we have to create a budget. So today we're going to talk about tithing. We're going to talk about offering and a little bit more. But before we begin to shoot our shots, we're going to meet our guests. And we're going to meet them in an interesting way today. So sit back and let's meet our guests for the day.
enjoy our introduction of our guests, we're going to have prayer by Carter. Bobby, Bobby, amen. Amen. All right. Well, Lord, we thank you. Amen. All right. Now, question, what is tithing? Ask your parents to type what tithing is in the chat. Kennedy, what, what's tithing? Tithing is giving back the 10% of money that you borrowed from the Lord. Okay, dokie, she said you borrowed from the Lord because everything you have belongs to God. Well, tithing is a command, all right? And it's from God, and it requires a tenth of any increase, all right, that we give back to him. To do what? Handle the expenses, you know, of the church, all right? And so back in Bible days, according to Bible days, increase, you know, it could mean the fruits, it could mean your vegetables, it could mean your money, it could mean your grain, all right? So, if you look, we determine a tenth by moving the decimal point one place to the left. So here's another question. Well, what is offering? Caleb, what's, what's offering? Um, like you... Is it the same thing as my tithes? No. All right, because I have to get my tithes first, and then I can give my... Uh, Offer. Offering. Then I can get my offering. All right. Offering is anything above your tithe. You got to meet that requirement first. All right. And then you can get anything else, anything above that amount. All right. So let's bounce into our tithing shots today. All right. So I want you to, if you have a basketball at home, I want you to get it. Or old fashioned, just get you a piece of paper and ball it up. All right. And I want you to do the move that you see my animal friends doing. All right. Tithing requires passing. Tithing requires passing. Tithing requires passing. Tithing requires passing. All right, hope you pass that ball. Now, let's see what our playbook says about tithing. Malachi 3.10, it says, bring all the tithes into the storehouse so there may be enough food in my temple. If you do, says the Lord of heaven's armies, I will open the windows of heaven for you. I will pour out a blessing so great you won't have enough room to take it in. Try it. Put me to the test. All right, so we got to bring our 10%. When players pass the ball, they get it to another person on the same team. As a child of God, we're passing 10 percent of what our father blessed us with back to him. Whether it's online giving, text to give, using the drop box at church, he'll pass it back. But hold on. I'm getting ahead of myself. Follow us down to the Explorers room for this for our passing game. Welcome to the passing game. We have two teams today. Team one is the cat in the hat, Kennedy the leopard, and Chippy the chipmunk. Team two, we have Carter the panda, we have Caleb the bear, and Mounty the bear. Look at there, team two is all bears. I love it. All right, now you can participate at home too. Go get you some buckets or some bowls, get you some lightweight balls, or ball you up some pieces of paper, all right? So they have two buckets. One bucket represents money, one bucket represents tithing. And so we're gonna see who can get the most money into their tithing bucket. They're gonna have one minute to go. All right, ready, set, and go. Look at that, team one is, they are doing an amazing job. Those bears, they losing some money, they losing some money, but that panda, he said, I'm picking up two coins, two dollars, all at one time. We gonna pass two at a time to make up for our losses. Yes, we are. All right, go ahead on, team one. Let's go, team two. Let's go, team one. Let's go, team two. You have 32 seconds. All done. All right, yay, team one. Team one got all of their money into the tithing bucket. All right, let's head back to the studio and find out what this game has to do with our blessing. 
So our animals, they had 20 balls, all right? So their tithe was two, but they gave more than that. So we can give more than our tithe if the Lord leads us, all right? And Minister Patrick already said, you know, Supernatural Day is, is coming up, Supernatural Day of giving. And so it's a chance for us to bring an offering above our tithe, all right? But we can also give more any time, all right? And so listen up, even if you, if you don't have a job, guess what? Any increase that you're blessed with, guess what you can do? You can go ahead on and you can give 10% of that. Because I know that y'all don't, all y'all don't have no jobs. I mean, you can't work until you like 15 or 16 years old. Okay, all right. So not only does tithing require passing, tithing protects. So go ahead on and get your ball, get your balled up piece of paper and join our animals in doing this move. Tithing protects. Tithing protects. Tithing protects. Tithing protects. Tithing protects. So what does protect mean? Carter, what does protect mean? Protect Samuel. Protect who? Samuel. Protect Samuel? Okay, all right. So how do we protect Samuel? What do we do? Anything? You make sure he stays safe? Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. All right, protect Sam. Make sure he stays safe. All right. Well, how do you think, you know, paying tithe pro provides protection? Kennedy, what do you think about that? Um, when you tithe, it's almost like when you tithe, God is, like, promising you that he'll keep you safe. Okay. Like God promising you he'll keep you safe. So, Let's see what our playbook says. All right, we're going back to Malachi. We're going to Malachi 3.11, New Living Translation version. It says, your crops will be abundant, for I will guard them from insects and disease. Your grapes will not fall from the vine before they are ripe, says the Lord of heaven's armies. So you may be saying, oh my gosh, what kind of crops do I have? What in the world is this talking about? Well, think about crops as anything that we are working towards, all right? Maybe the goals we made last month when we acknowledged our position in our future, or maybe the budget that we created last week. God says in our playbook that he will guard them from insects and disease. So anything that comes to distract, anything that comes to destroy, God is going to guard us from them, all right? So, Let's review before we bounce into point three, all right? Tithing requires, what was the first one? Passing, all right? Then, not only that, but tithing also protects us, all right? So, and our last point is tithing propels, all right? So, Caleb, what does propel mean? Propel means like a... Do I stay in the same place? No. Okie dokie. All right. So propel means I'm a move. All right. So get your ball and let's do the movement for tithing propels. Tithing propels. All right, so you saw them dribbling the ball, moving it from place to place. All right, so we're going back to our scripture, Malachi 3, 10. It says, bring all your tithes into the storehouse so there will be enough food in my temple. If you do, says the Lord of heaven's armies, I will open the windows of heaven for you. I will pour out a blessing so great that you won't have enough room to take it in. Try me. Put me to the test. All right. So if you see behind me, oh, my gosh, they're pouring out. They're, just, they're pouring out, pouring out, pouring out, 
pouring out and overflowing. All right. So the Lord says, if we pass our tithes into the storehouse, which is a fancy word for our church or a place of worship where we're learning more about him, he will pour out a blessing so great that we won't have room to take it in. All right. So let's follow us down the hallway to see what happens when Kennedy, Carter and Caleb give their tithes and offerings. Kennedy is going to pay her tithe. She had 10 bracelets. How many bracelets did you put in? One. Awesome job. How many do you have left? Nine. Awesome job. All right, Carter is gonna pay his tithe. How many did you put in there, Carter? One. And how many do you have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Awesome job. And Caleb is going to pay his tithe. How many did you put in, Caleb? One. How many do you have left? Three, six, eight. eight. Try again. Nine. Awesome job. All right, so let's talk about what happened. Each guest was given 10 of something, all right, that they mentioned they would buy last week as part of their budget, all right? Each guest passed one of those items for tithing because a tenth of ten is one, all right? Then they chose how many items they were going to give for their offering, which is above our tithe. But it doesn't have to be more than the tithe, but it's given after we met the tithe requirement. So, Kennedy, why did you choose to give four for your offering? I chose to give four because I... My parents had four kids. Because your parents had four kids. All right, and then you increased it to six the next time. Why would you do that? I increased it to six because I like the number six. Okay, she likes the number six. All right, Carter, when you gave your offering, you gave four cars, all right, for week one, all right? So why would you give four cars? I I like putting four cards in the basket. You like putting four cards in the basket. Okie dokie. Now, Caleb, you gave six packs of chips for your offering, and then you increased it to nine. Well, what made you increase it? For my sixth birthday. Okie dokie. You increased it for your sixth birthday. Okie dokie. So now... Based upon what the Lord requires and what we chose to give as an offering, most of the time we're left with more, but we have to create a budget for what we have left. And that may lead to us adding more to what we have or just having enough because tithing guards against the insect eating everything that we earn and it propels, which means it leads to us having more. All righty, daddy. So something's coming, something, something, something's coming, something's coming. All right. So I want you to look and see what's going to happen because something, something's coming, something's coming, something's coming. All right. So look here, look here. Oh my goodness. Look, Caleb, what happened? What do you have? Chips. You have chips. How many chips do you have? Twenty. You have twenty. Oh, T say he has twenty chips in there. Okie dokie. All right, so Kennedy, how many bracelets do you have there, ma'am? Enough. You have enough. Well, do you think it's more than 10? Yes. Look at all these bracelets that she has in here. All right. Um, Carter, let's just take an estimate. How many cars do you think you have in here? Do you think it's more than 10? Mm -hmm. It is more than 10. So if you remember from our tithing illustration, let's see. They only had 10 things. All right. And then they gave four. They gave six. They gave one. But remember, tithing 
propels. So it leads us to having more. So she has way more bracelets than 10 now. He has way more than the three bags of chips that he was left with. And he has way more than the five cars that he was left with because tied them repair. Propels. So let's remember, tithing requires passing. Not only does tithing require passing, tithing protects. Not only does tithing protects, but tithing propels. All right, so let's check this out as we review. Tithing. Tithing requires passing. Tithing requires passing. Tithing requires passing. Tithing requires passing. Tithing protects. Tithing protects. Tithing protects. Tithing propels. Tithing propels. Tithing propels. Tithing propels. All right, you saw that review. All right, so let's remember. First thing, tithing requires what? Passing. Passing. Not only does tithing require passing, but what else does tithing do? Tithing propels. Okay, tithing propels. Not only does tithing propels, but it does what? Pro, what are we gonna do to Sam? Pro. Help. We're going to help him? Okay, we can help him and we can protect. He's like, I ain't saying that big word, Minister Ulysses. So I'm going to say we're going to help him. All right, so we're going to protect him. Excellent job. All right, so let's see. It requires passing. What does that mean, Kennedy, that tithing requires passing? Um, it requires passing by it needing to be passed. It needs to like be encouraged. Okay. And, oh, I like that. It needs to be encouraged. It needs to be passed. All right. What does tithe them propels mean? Like, like once it does damage to one spot. Once it does Propels? Yeah, once it does okay. damage to one spot, it moves. Okie dokie said it does damage to one spot and it moves. Well, I don't know that tithe going to do us some damage. But I know that, like, if we pass it, then the Lord may bless us with some more. So maybe once we give this much, then maybe we can give this much. Or maybe once we give this much, then maybe we can expect the Lord to give us this much. All right? Protection. Carter, what does protection mean? We're going to try this again. Mm -hmm. And you already said it. Keep what? Keep someone safe. Keep someone safe. So tithing. Protects means that it is going to keep us safe. It's going to keep us safe. The budget that we make, the Lord's going to keep it. He's going to help us to make sure that we hold true to that. The goals that we set, he's going to help us. He's going to make sure that we meet those goals. And people that try to get in our way or things that try to get in our way, hey, he's going to go ahead on and he's going to move them out of the way. I don't know about you, but based upon what I learned today, I tell you what, I know I am going to continue to pay my tithes. And I hope it encourages you to pay yours, pay your offering, let the Lord lead you, use you, guide you. All right. That's all I'm saying. All right. So we are going to pray. All right. And then we're going to go back to the rest of our story. So let's bow our heads. Dear Lord, we thank you for this day, God. We thank you for this lesson, God. We thank you, God, for protecting us. We thank you, God, for propelling us, God. And we pray, God, that you will lead us, God, to be encouraged, God, to pass what is due you that you have blessed us with to you, God. God, keep us safe this week. Lead and guide us, Lord. And Lord, we love you, God, and we bless you, God. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, so we are going to hear the rest of Mr. Brown Can Move, Can You. Don't forget to send in your pictures and your videos. And don't forget, guess what? We can be a part of the Change Your Lives moment too. So 
do something kind for somebody, change somebody's life, record it, post it with the changing lives hashtag. We want to see the children participate too. So enjoy the story and we'll see you all back next week for quarter four of Money Madness. And we're shooting out of here. He can sound like a clock. He can tick. He can talk. He can sound like a hand on a door. Knock, knock. Boom, boom, boom. Mr. Brown is a wonder. Boom, boom, boom. Mr. Brown makes a thunder. He makes lightning. Splat, splat, splat. And it's very, very hard to make a noise like that. Mr. Brown can whisper, whisper. Very soft, very high. Like the soft whisper of a butterfly. Maybe you can too. I think you ought to try. Oh, the wonderful sounds Mr. Brown can do. Why don't you try to do them too? Turn the page and let's review. Moo, moo, buzz, buzz. Pop, pop, clop, cock a doodle doo. Who, who, dibble, dibble, dop, tick tock. Knock, knock, boom, boom, splat. Last a whisper, whisper, and that is that. Bye, boys and girls. Have a good one.